Greetings. Hope this video finds you well and prosper. Hey, check this out. Serving my time in law enforcement. Listen, I really it it was it was good it was good it was good for me. Great experience. At five years in the Air Force, I was a canine handler, explosive detection dog handler. Listen, when everybody was leaving the building, I was the one going in the building, <laughs> me and the dog. The dog just wanted to play. I was like, this is not for the play play. <laughs> this was real as it gets. But after, you know, some deep evaluation between doing law enforcement and uh, risking my life for that versus you know what I wanted to do in life it was just a step what what kind of got me in my feelings when I left law enforcement was the fellow officers that I left and the people in the community that I patrolled listen I grew up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I know how to move around Milwaukee. I was all over the place. Listen, I knew how to move around Milwaukee on the city bus, on a bike. And when I turned 16 and got my license, I really was moving around Milwaukee. So I grew up in I grew up in Milwaukee from 27th and Burleigh, uh, killing roaches in the up, upper flat on 27th and Burleigh. We moved over in Titonia and Congress across the street from Garden Homes. If anybody familiar with Milwaukee, grew up across the street from Garden Homes Elementary School. Listen, it was dope to me having a whole school and playground across the street versus having houses across the street. Yeah, I had a whole playground. So listen, I knew the area. I knew so many people. You know, public school. I knew so many people. So when I let, when I went away for five years into the Air Force, two of them years I spent in the Philippines. So I got kind of detached, but I was still keeping in touch. And then when I came back from the Philippines, I got stationed as close as I could to Milwaukee so I could go back and forth and, you know, kind of stay in touch with home. My parents were still in Milwaukee. My little sister was going to school in Milwaukee, in Wisconsin. So I was, I got as close as I could, Worth Smith Air Force Base in Oscoda, Michigan. Yeah, that was a frozen tundra too. It was like Junior Green Bay, Oscoda. That's another discussion. So yeah, I would get close to Milwaukee. Start running back and forth to Milwaukee. Milwaukee was hiring officers. So I said, you know what? This is my hood. I'm not gonna I'm gonna go back and work the hood. I'm gonna give back to the community. I'm gonna be involved in improving the city. And so went through the police academy. I got assigned to District 7 at the time. District 7 is where I grew up at. So listen, that was that was deep to me because a lot of officers, they, they some of them come from out of town. They don't even know the city like that. And some of them grew up in a certain part of the city and they get assigned to another part of the city. So I felt special, like, Hey man, this is where I grew up. This is where I live. And this is where I'm going to be patrolling. Yeah, I like that. I had a I had a I bought a duplex on 57th and the Locust. Hey, I'd be on patrol. I could swing by the house, check out the neighborhood. The chief of police, I said at the time Chief Ariola, he had a house not too far from where my house was. And listen, I know because sometimes I would be assigned the squad to watch his house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> listen, let's not tell nobody 
that the supervisor pulled up on me one night during a snowstorm and caught me sleeping. I was like, damn, how you get here in this snowstorm? I just knew I was gonna wake up stuck. <laughs> Listen, I got stories about this police work. But yeah, let me wind this down. When I left the department, I was like, man, I'm gonna, a few of these, these these officers, man, you really become you really become family. I'm serious, I gotta say that. Great thing about Facebook, I'm connected to a bunch of those people. Now, listen, it's one of, we have slumber parties. <laughs> Grown folks having slumber parties as the police. Yeah, it was dope. And then uh, the people, because I didn't tr listen. I trust some officers. But I didn't trust no officers as much as I trust myself. I knew I was treating the public fair. I knew I was treating the public right. I had a genuine concern for the public. So they, listen, and, and I'm gonna end this. They, they have a quota. They have some quotas like, go out and write so many parking tickets. I'm like, man, I don't wanna, listen, these people got enough going on. They don't need to wake up in the morning and come out and see a parking ticket on a vehicle because they didn't move it to one side or the other of the street. I was the guy like getting in trouble. Hey, hey Burroughs, how many parking tickets? How many parking tickets have you written this month? I'd be like, ugh, uh, you didn't make your quota. Yeah, man, I just didn't want to be writing people parking tickets. That's another discussion. Hey, I'm going to give it to y'all later. Peace.